Hi. Today we want to talk about formatting a footnote. But first, let's insert some text here. Let's arrange a little bit. And let's uh, insert here a footnote. And let's write some text here. For example, the book mentioned here. Let's uh, do not spec a check spelling. The book mentioned here is Why Me by Samuel Do. Okay, so let's copy paste this text in order to have a larger footnote let's change the font we can change the font we can change the size of the text here we can increase decrease and so on in general uh, the size here it's smaller than the text of the book so let's modify with 9 and let's change the font okay so we have this um, footnote here right click in the page click on the page and here we have footnote footer it's for uh, page number and so on and footnote is for uh, this kind of comments and we have some options here if we choose maximum footnote height for example if I choose one you can see the text have gone to the next pages because it doesn't um, it's more than one centimeter so we have to increase this size here let's have this okay so it's okay it, it fit in this size so if I decrease, the text should move, move on the next page. Let's check. Okay, so you see now, I have two lines here and the third one on the next page. Okay, so we can use this in order to have smaller uh, footnotes on some pages. You can see two lines on one page and one line on another page. Let's decrease a little more. And let's go back to 2.5 and everything is on the same page. Okay. Let's suppose we have a bigger text. Let's paste it here. So now, let's see if I have 10 cm, okay, so the text will remain here, and I have a bigger text here. If I have 2 or 4, let's check with 3, okay, so the text will continue here on this page. Let's go with the next options we have. Let's go with five. And let's uh, arrange the text a little bit here. So we ha let's have a normal foot um, setting, and we are on page one with this look. And let's uh, go on style more this uh, footnote. So let's change the space to text. 
let's apply it the size let's um, have five okay and now let's see the space to text this is the space from the bottom here to this line let's see okay so if I minimize this I have less space depending on the lines of, on this document if I increase I will have at least two centimeters uh, space between this line and the bottom of the last line let's change the separator separator line uh, let's move the text a little bit down in order to see so we can have this line beginning from the left or in the center like this or on the right you can see it's much nicer to have on the left because we read from left to right in general so for these cases we can use this also we can change the thickness if I have zero I can I can see the line if I have one it's a little bit too more and so on we can change the color of this okay so we have a nice color and a very thick line and now I can increase the percent of the line for example 100 percent meaning from the left to the right the whole percent if I have 10 percent 10% from the left to the right will be uh, this line length so let's change to 20 and let's uh, change now the um, spacing it's below the line and between um, it's the space between that between the line and the text so let's have 0 2 it's too little let's have 0, 4 and here also it's a little bit too much let's decrease on here so it's very nice for me so for me this um, footnote looks very beautiful I like very much and I recommend you to format the um, footnote like this using colors using changing thickness and so on okay so let's decrease a little bit so it look very nice let's uh, arrange a little bit justify and thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video about LibreOffice and how to use it in your day-to-day -day, uh, work thank you